I think it's a while since I've done a quack product, so what better than, well, I was going to say the current fad, it's not, it's been around for a while, but it's the Ionic Foot Detox. So this uh, electrode here, this is one of the consumable electrodes, came from eBay, surprise, surprise, from China, bigger surprise, and it's described as a detox foot bath arrays, round stainless steel array, stainless steel, really? Um, and it's... Came, it cost £4.45 and it came from a seller called Say Hello 2015, which is one of the easiest names to remember in a while, even if it was presumably last year's name. But anyway, yes, it came from eBay. And the idea of these things is that you... Uh, well, I'll do a wee doodle, actually. It's a sort of quack uh, health therapy type thing. So basically speaking... You've got a seat, it can be a nice, comfortable seat if it's a, I suppose it depends on the quality of the clinic. And you've got a sort of foot bath in front of it. And people sit with their feet in the foot bath. Uh, let's draw their arm as well because some of them have another little feature. And a unit, uh, a unit with all sorts of digital readouts and buttons all over it for maximum show, connects to this electrode which sits in the water which has uh, salt added to it. Special salt, presumably. Or maybe not. And so this unit sits in there, and another possibility is for some fancy units, another wee th cable comes out, and uh, there's a wee armband or electrode goes on. And the idea is that you sit in this... Uh, hold on, let's uh, adjust the contrast here just to make it more visible. That's better. You sit in the seat with your foot in the bath for about 30 minutes, and uh, it detoxifies your body by passing electricity through it. And it starts off with the water clear, and then as it goes on, uh, it's supposed to end up looking like this. And all this is the impurities that have been drawn out of your body. It looks absolutely disgusting, uh, which is the whole point. And it even comes with a, a chart, uh, which you're supposed to, like, poke about in it and look for all the wee particles and... Uh, each one, each coloured bit represents bits of your gallbladder or liver or brain and red patches that even pull blood clots out. It, yeah. Anyway, quite. So let's pop the lid on this and take a look inside. These things are still widely in use uh, in these uh, beauty clinics. Uh, I, I'm looking for the screwdriver that I need to pop this over there. Ooh, the Oops, almost stabbing instant. It almost managed to actually get the detox me of blood there. Ugh. Get open. Here we go. So what's inside? It's quite neat inside, I have to say. It's got a plastic separator and then it's got two helixes of metal. Now, is that stainless steel or is it just steel? It's... Uh, I, know, I think that is stainless steel. Or is it a special alloy designed to corrode? Because basically all they're going to be doing is applying uh, presumably DC across this and it's going to cause electrolytic corrosion, um, accelerated corrosion uh, and sort of rusting. Uh, I'm just wondering, is that inner one different? No, it, it seems to be the same sort of stuff. So um, I reckon the best way to test this, just to see, see it operating, um, is to actually put it in some water. Oh, I should mention that... Uh, there are some of the units, they just, uh, they're very simple. You put it in the water and it just starts like cloudy and making it go brown right there and then. Other ones do require the little wristband, not because it's actually doing anything special to your body, but just to make sure that someone does have their feet in the water. It detects a slight current between the wristband and the electrodes and uh, then enables the electrode to start doing the, the thing. So what I've got here, just to try this out, uh, I'm going to put a bit of kitchen towel down. And I've got a bowl of freshly prepared health water, uh, which I've added some kitchen salt into, just to uh, try this out. And I'm going to submerge the electrode in it and connect it to a DC supply. Now, I'm not sure if the outer electrode, I'm guessing, uh, I'm not sure which would best connect positive and negative, so I'm just going to randomly connect them willy-nilly. Uh, and then I'm going to energise it at 12 volts, How's that looking? At Can I brighten this image just a wee tad? Yeah, let's brighten it up a wee bit. Uh, so, let's turn it on. Oh, that is very conductive, actually. That is really low voltage. Um, 
and high current because uh, I set that to 12 volts it's dropped to about 2.65 because it's limiting to 1.5 amps so let's uh, let's turn the current up because this is uh, the higher the current as I'm guessing the more of an effect we're going to get oh I can see a uh, cloudiness coming out already oh and brown so that's about 2 amps oh I c maybe 2 amps is actually too high because it's going brown already and that's about 3 volts so I'm going to set the voltage down to about, well it doesn't really matter actually because it's a current limiting supply. So yeah, 2 amps and it's already starting to go very brown. It's quite interesting the effect, the sort of clouding spreading out. That's, uh, I didn't really expect it to be that fast to be honest. I thought it was going to take a lot longer, I can see the bubbles coming out and popping, they're presumably they're hydrogen and oxygen. Oh, that is very cloudy and dirty. So, um, this is the effect. I'm wondering then if this, if the current I've set at here, 2 amps, is actually a bit too high, in fact. Because if people are going to get this done for about uh, 30 minutes, you want it to all happen very gradually. Oh, that's kind of disgusting, isn't it? And every time a bubble comes out, a cloud... Oh, it is sort of greeny bits. Oh, hold on, where's my colour chart to make to see what's come out of my... To come out of this. So it's got a greenish film here. So that's a material or area system of the body. Let's see, where is it? Where is it? That's my kidney, bladder, and reproductory system. There's orange, so that's going to be joints and muscles. I don't see any blood yet coming out there. I do see the bubbles. The bubbles are quite dramatic, I have to say. That is presumably um, the amount of salt you put in is also going to have a, a significant effect. Uh, so I'm just going to pause momentarily and come back in about, I'm going to go and surf the net for a while and then we'll come back in about, say, 20 minutes and we'll just see how disgusting this has gone. So uh, I'll be back shortly. OK, it's had time to marinate and it's looking pretty disgusting. It's got the bubbles, it's got this sort of, oh, yeah, that's disgusting. What's it smell like? It smells like rust, strangely enough. Um, so let's turn this off now and we'll fish this out. Yeah, I should say that uh, I'm looking at this from the side because it's a glass container and all the f stuff that's floating about, all the scum is on top here. So I'm going to uh, just lift this out and... Uh... Oh. Yeah, lots of different coloured bits. Uh, it's uh, quite interesting, actually. So I'm looking at the electrodes here. Let's get this open, in fact. I'm just going to wipe this off and clean it a bit. Uh, I'll move this out the way since I don't really want to spill it. I've brought the jug just in case I had to put this into it, but uh, I think I'll just uh, leave it here and move the jug out of the way. So let's uh, pop this open again and see what it's like inside. And see how much corrosion has occurred. I have to say, looking from the side, it doesn't really look like all that much corrosion has occurred, unless it's actually reacting with the salt and creating uh, sodium sort of metals. That is surprisingly clean. You're going to get quite a lot of cycles out of that. It's got sort of goop on it, but that's just a you know the, the residue of what when I was taking it out. So um, it, I, I was expecting this to be really corroded, but it's not. Particularly given given how disgusting that uh, jar of liquid is, because it really is. It does have lots of colours. It's got the dark green and it's got the slimy bits and sort of whitish bits. It's a whole range of colours. Um, so, um, yeah, uh, that's the... Uh, I'm kind of wishing I hadn't done that now. Uh, that's the uh, ionic foot detox unit. You stick your feet in the bath and th it claims that this is being drawn out of your body, but really um, it's not. It's, it's just really... Hold on, I'm just going to try and improve the, the intensity here. Is this going to come out? A bit? Oh no, it's going to just swamp out. Yeah, it's kind of not very photogenic, is it? It's just brown sludge. But yeah, that's the whole concept of it. That claims that it's a, it actually stains your skin a wee bit, I have to say. But it claims, I suppose that gives the impression it's pulling it out from your, your through your skin, but it's supposed to draw this out of your body, but it really doesn't. But uh, quite, a, quite a novel thing, really. It's quite a, an interesting scam, and I suppose that some people probably 
quite enjoy the experience of being pampered and given this magical treatment. So, yeah, interesting, the ionic foot detox.